respiration. This is the process which is responsible for providing energy to all the living organism so that they will be able to survive. Now how they get this energy by the breakdown of the food which is present in their body. Oxygen is required during the process of respiration that is always necessary. This we have read. But there are certain cases when oxygen is not required. So on that basis we are typically dividing respiration process into two types. Here I have written the two types. One is aerobic respiration and second is anaerobic respiration. So aerobic respiration is that respiration which takes place in the presence of oxygen. Means the breakdown of organic food will take place in the presence of oxygen molecules. Whereas anaerobic respiration means that the breakdown of food will take place but it does not require oxygen to be present. It does not occur every time but in certain cases it may occur. So we will be reading about anaerobic respiration as well along with the aerobic respiration in this topic. So first I will be telling you about aerobic respiration. What actually is the aerobic respiration and how the food molecule is being broken down. Aerobic respiration means the process of breakdown of glucose molecule that is C6H12O6 in the presence of oxygen and will lead to the formation of carbon dioxide, water molecule as well as release of energy. The amount of energy released in this process is very high and the organisms which carry out this aerobic respiration are called as aerobes. And most of the organisms are able to carry out aerobic respiration so these are called as aerobes. Now here I have written C6H12O6. This is glucose you know. In the presence of oxygen, it will lead to the breakdown of carbon dioxide and water molecule along with the release of energy. Energy release is a must. Means we are getting sufficient amount of energy when we are getting sufficient amount of oxygen in our body during the process of breathing. So what happens when oxygen enters in our body, it will break down the glucose which is present in our cells and ultimately will lead to formation of carbon dioxide, water molecule and energy. Now that energy being utilized by the body whereas carbon dioxide gas is being released by the process of breathing. So this process is called as aerobic respiration and this process is occurring in most of the living organism including human beings. Second type is anaerobic respiration. Now as I have told you before anaerobic respiration means the respiration which does not require oxygen. Now this is the in the cases of certain yeast and there are some other bacteria also which are not requiring oxygen during the process of respiration means they can break down the glucose molecule or the organic food without the presence of oxygen. So these organisms are called as anaerobe and these organisms are capable of carrying out anaerobic respiration. Now anaerobic respiration also can be further categorized into two different categories. One in the absence of oxygen that will be called as anaerobic respiration where there will be no oxygen present and the organism is able to break down the organic food. Second is in the case of deficiency. Deficiency of oxygen is there then also anaerobic respiration will take place. Now how it will take place? Like human beings they are having sufficient amount of oxygen under the normal process. But sometime when they do heavy exercise or some more physical work then their body will have deficiency of oxygen. That time the muscle cells will start behaving in the anaerobic manner and they will do anaerobic respiration for a very short span of time. As soon as the supply of oxygen will be sufficient then they will again carry out this process of aerobic respiration. Means it is the muscle cells in the human body 
विच आर केपेबल ऑफ डूइंग एनारोबिक रेस्पिरेशन बट फॉर अ शॉर्ट ड्यूरेशन ऑफ टाइम सो दे बेसिकली डू ड्यूरिंग द डेफिशियंसी ऑफ ऑक्सीजन otherwise the organisms which every time do the process of respiration without oxygen those are called as anaerobes and yeast is one of the common example of anaerobic organism now what happens in case of anaerobic respiration how it breaks down glucose molecule that i'll tell you so how it will break down is like this is glucose molecule c6h12o6 in the absence of oxygen means when there will be no oxygen present what it will do is it will lead to the formation of alcohol c2h5oh is the alcohol and along with it it will release carbon dioxide and energy again energy will be released in this case also because energy is always released in case of respiration now this glucose molecule has broken down into alcohol this is alcohol so it will break down glucose into alcohol along with the release of carbon dioxide as well as energy but the amount of energy released will be less as compared to the amount of energy released during aerobic respiration this is the case of anaerobic organisms which carry out the process of respiration every time in the absence of oxygen only second anaerobic respiration occurs in muscle cells you should be specifying this this occurs in muscle cells only not in all the anaerobes these are the muscle cells which are present in human body how it will happen is glucose which is otherwise being broken down into carbon dioxide and water carbon dioxide plus water plus energy this is the process of anaerobic respiration but in case of deficiency when there will be deficiency of oxygen means when there will be heavy exercise during deficiency of oxygen what will happen this carbon dioxide breakdown will not take place straight away instead glucose will first break down into lactic acid which is actually an intermediate intermediate means straight away glucose is never breaking down into carbon dioxide it first break down into lactic acid and then that lactic acid is further broken down into carbon dioxide and water now this can happen when there is sufficient amount of oxygen present but when there is deficiency of oxygen it will go from first stage to consider it as second stage means it will break down into lactic acid it has reached to the second stage but now the oxygen is finished so it will stop and it will remain here only after that what will happen when there again will be oxygen supply this lactic acid which is the second stage it will now move to the third stage that is the breakdown into carbon dioxide and water along with the release of energy so person will be feeling relaxed at this so this is actually the journal process how it occurs in muscle cells why we consider it as anaerobic respiration especially during the deficiency of oxygen it leads to the breakdown of glucose into lactic acid this lactic acid get deposited in the muscle cells and these muscle cells will ultimately be very painful because this lactic acid deposition will lead to muscle cramps this will lead to muscle cramps and the person will be able to overcome these cramps by hot water bath or by massage because what will happen when you rub it very fast wherever there is pain the supply of oxygen will be fast because blood circulation will be very fast oxygen will be more so when oxygen will be more it will break down this lactic acid into carbon dioxide and water and the person will get relief same when you are taking hot water bath this will lead to increase supply of oxygen and ultimately it will lead to formation of carbon dioxide and water so this is the process which occurs in muscle cells and the previous one i explained is which occurs in the yeast so this is all about how anaerobic respiration takes place